Hello there, this is Kyle and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial and today we're going to be dropping some uh, tech so it's going to be quite a cool, um, hopefully educational um, tutorial for you guys. So let's get cracking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a plane. Um, let's knock this plane up to about 900 by 900. like so and similar to what we've done in the previous tutorials we're going to duplicate that um, plane by control C control V um, and this is just to create our backdrop um, and we're just going to push this back like so and then we're going to get this plane again and control C control V that again and we're just going to rotate that plane around and all we're doing in general is just building um, uh, a very sort of basic set uh, for our scene and then again we're going to control C control V that and uh, let's just zoom out so we can see what we're doing and let's just click on that and rotate that around like so and then bring this into position Like so, and bring that back. And this is basically um, just a little virtual uh, set that we've created for ourselves. So when we uh, render, um, we should get some nice uh, effects in there. So this is our set. So we're going to come up to MoGraph and we're going to create some uh, Motex. Uh, we're going to come in here and we're going to type in something like, um, oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's go back to text. Let's go back into here. And let's just type in shadow. And let's just uh, play around with the settings of our text for a second. So let's just put, click on our text and just put our text into position. And maybe uh, make the height of it a little bit smaller. Let's just zoom in. Right, so let's get our rotation tool and just spin this around for a second because it's the wrong way around. And let's just uh, bring this into a position uh, that we like. So when we zoom in, we've just got our, uh, our text. So let's click on our text again and let's punch the depth up to say 60. Uh, so we've got a nice uh, deep. Actually, let's make that 40 because that is a bit uh, harsh. So we've got our text in our scene. Now in order to animate it, we're going to uh, bring the text forward to um, a decent position. Um, and to animate this tipping backwards, it's a bit weird because you have to go up, turn and then back down. What I mean by that is we're going to uh, create a keyframe, um, which is cl click on that auto key. So select keyframe, which is going to bring a keyframe here. Let's go to about 24 seconds. We're going to bring it up, click on our rotation tool, bring it all the way around, and then click on our thingy tool and then bring it back down to the floor. It's about there. And then what we've done, in theory, is we've got our text um, just tipping down, like so. Very, very simple. So what we want to do now, guys, is we want to create some sh uh, lighting for this scene. Okay, so we're going to come up to our light and we're going to do um, an infinity light. And I'm just going to uh, zoom out of the scene uh, very quickly and bring my infinity light um, quite high and quite far away. It's about there. Actually, no, let's get rid of our infinity light. Sorry about that, guys. It's one of them days. And we're going to create a different type of light because I created the wrong light. So let's create an uh, airy light. And I'm going to bring the area light up. Um, I'm going to rotate it like so. But this light I want um, behind the text. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this here. Uh, drop this down to about there. Push it back to about there. And then I'm just going to rotate it um, a bit to about there. And maybe tilt it down like so. Now the idea of this is when our text drops, um, we want the shadow of the back of the text. So 
So let's just um, bring this say to about there, for instance, and let's go forward a bit, um, and let's just render that out and just test it. Right. So as you can see, we've got no shadow, but we've got a harsh shadow here and a harsh shadow on the front. So we need to select that light, and we need to come down to the shadow section and put um, a shadow soft. So I want a really sh soft shadow here. So let's try and render that out now. So as you can see, we've got some lovely shadow here, um, but it's about um, playing with the light in itself. So we've got the shadow sort of behind the text. This is the target, this is the uh, thing we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom out the scene and, and I'm gonna alter uh, where my lighting is. So we're gonna rotate, bring that around the front now because we've played around with well, we've seen the render, shall I say, um, and we've seen how this light will perform um, in this scenario. So let's go back to a decent scene and let's try and render this out again. Right, so you can see the shadows here uh, popping out the back of the text and down the side, but it's a little bit too harsh. So let's select on our light again and then we can get these points and we can um make this lighting a little bit smaller so it's not as because it's quite big as you can see here so let's get this here and bring it up and let's make the light a little bit more crunched so we're making in essence a smaller lights and let's bring this down about there and let's bring this just over now let's try and render that out again and see what we've got so as you can see, as we're making the lighting, um, excuse me, uh, smaller, we're making the shadow smaller as well. So we need to put another light over here, but let's just concentrate um, on the light we're working on at the moment. So let's select our light again and make this a lot smaller. And maybe bring it back. Now let's try and render that out again and see what we got. So as you can see, our shadows are getting uh, less harsher but there's a lot of darkness down here, so we may need to put a light here. So what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna click back on our scene. Uh, we're gonna click on our light and control C and control V that to duplicate the light. And then we're gonna bring this second light over. And we're gonna put this into position. Now the idea is when you actually animate this and render this out, I want the idea that you can see the shadow as this this is tipping back so let's try and render that out now and see what we got so as you can see now these shadows are getting a lot um, softer uh, shall I say um, in the scene so we're gonna play around with this light maybe just bring it over here and bring it back and now let's try and render this out again and see what we got now that's looking really really nice we've got beautiful light in here uh, uh shadows here we've got some nice shadows here um but it's a still a little bit too harsh so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to play it around with this light so maybe bring this up and maybe tilt it down a bit to bounce the light okay so let's try and render that out again as you can see the shadows are looking absolutely incredible Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to play around with our text. So I'm going to come to my text and I'm going to bump my subvision up to about 10. And this is going to make it a hell of a lot more um, uh, sharper. It's going to make the text uh, look a lot better. And if you come here, um, you can actually change the font. So if you hold down on that, you can actually change the font of the text uh, to what you want. So I'm going to stick with that and then I'm going to make that a bold. And then let's try and render that out again. And that's looking really, really, really nice. Now, um, we've got some harshness here. Don't worry about that. It's basically how um, you're going to position your camera. So if, if I zoom in, hold down all, and then let's pan um, my um, scene around, um, I can play around with um, the various planes. Uh, so let's find this plane here, and let's just bring that plane and make it a lot larger. And then what I can do this um, plane here 
I can, uh, if I zoom in for the whole set, for instance, you can see the whole set. Um, I can start playing around with um, the actual uh, scene itself. So we know that uh, this is our grand plane, this is our second plane. So let's push this up to say, um, let's go a thousand on that, and let's go a thousand up. Like so. And then let's get this, this plane here. Uh, where is it? Normally you should title these, these planes. Um, but I'm just showing you this roughly. I'm going to bring this plane over here. It's just so, it's like a film set, isn't it? So it's about um, setting up the scene so your camera can fit in the scene. Hence, you can fit in your scene. So I'm just going to get the shadow text and just actually undo that because I forgot I animated it. Um, and let's go back into the set. Let's place my camera... I haven't done my bottom plane yet, sorry about that guys. This is my ground plane, so let's make my ground plane um thousand. So that's what flush is, and then let's just get our um scene in the right place where we want. And let's just render that out now and just have a look at what we got. And there you go guys. Some really, really stunning shadows. Uh, using text and then it's entirely up to you guys how you um, uh, create uh, materials for it so we're going to go to new material um, you can double click on this material and then you can play around um, with the colors the vibrance of it what sort of color you want the text uh, so on and so on let's go to illumination that's fine um, and that's basically it really and um, we can sorry go back into color let's make that a nice uh, pink like right, so and then you can add textures and basically do what you want so let's drop that on top of our text like so and then let's render it and there you go that is sorted you're going to have some nice uh, shadows. This is going to change colour um, as you, you drop it down. Like so. And we're going to get some, when you do the final render, um, you're going to get some nice uh, shadows. So, for instance, when you're here, if I render it, you're going to get some nice shadows in the back there. If you go to this scene, get some nice shadows. Go to this scene as it's falling, and you can animate these lights. Yeah, you can keyframe these lights um, as well. So, what do I mean about keyframing these lights? If I go back to here, for instance, if I render that out, we're gonna have less shadows, like you just saw, right? But what I can do is, you see this light. It's not in position, is it? So I can rotate this light. And because I've got the auto keyframe up, I'm going to um, spin that around, put it in position. And as I'm doing this, I'm animating the light for the scene. And I can bring this over. I can spin this around. I can make this more smaller and I can sort of bring this down like so now when we render that out we're gonna have a different look so um, yeah that's basically it really um, as you can see the lighting is moving with the animation um, which is gonna really make it look really really cool uh, when it falls down uh, on the floor so I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip tutorial on text and shadows. Um, as always, if you have a like rating, it would definitely be appreciated. And as always, I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.